Hi, I'm going to talk to you about using breast compressions when you're breastfeeding your baby. Um, breast compressions are a really, really useful tool if your baby is a little bit sleepy or a little bit inefficient at the breast, and so it can really help um, get a little bit extra milk into the baby whilst they're feeding out the breast. So there's a few um, ways to do it. Uh, basically, we want to um, put our hands around the breast or lean on the breast. We want to make sure our fingers are not too close to the nipple because it will disturb the latch if your baby's feeding. So make sure it's quite a long way back. If you're feeding in sort of cradle or cross cradle hold, you can put your hand around in a C shape like this, or sometimes you can just lean on the top of the breast or sometimes squeeze the breast like that. And that works really, really well. If you're in um, feeding in rugby hold, you can use the other hand. And again, you can squeeze the top if it works better for you as well. We just hold it for a second or two. And it just basically, it's like hand expressing into the baby's mouth, just gives them a little bit of extra um, milk and it improves the flow speeds up the flow of the milk a little bit and just makes it so that it's easier for them to take a bit of extra milk. So it can be um, used in a, in a couple of different ways. Sometimes if babies are a little bit reluctant to feed in the first place, um, it can work quite well. So if you latch your baby on, they quite often initially have a suck because that's a reflet action. As the um, nipple hits the roof of the mouth, um, it basically makes the baby's suck. It's a reflex action. Um, the next suck is a bit more of a choice, and so um, you can actually help by giving the uh, breast a little bit of a squeeze and firing a little bit of extra milk into the baby's mouth, and that can encourage them to suck again. So it's quite a good way of getting um, a baby who's reluctant to latch on to actually start feeding. Um, another good way, uh, basically babies often do this sort of fast sucking to start with, and then as your milk comes in, around a minute or so, they go into this deeper sucking pattern with the gaps. Like that. Okay, and that's kind of how that means this is the active feeding part of the feed. This is when all the milk is basically going into the baby. This is the most important part. Sometimes, if a baby's a bit sleepy, they just do a few of those and then they just go to sleep. Or they do a bit of light flutter sucking, like that. And so they're not really getting a huge amount of milk. So, what you can do again is just compress the breast, hold it for a few seconds, and it should encourage the baby to start sucking again. And they just like, oh yes, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be feeding, not going to sleep. You can do another one, and it just starts the baby feeding again. Okay, so that's one way of using them. Works really, really well for those kind of sleepy babies. And then another good way of doing them, some babies are a little bit inefficient at the breast, and so they'll go on, and they'll just have a cup of sucks, and then have a massive gap. And then they'll start again. Another cup of sucks, and another massive gap like that. So you can see straight away, if a baby's having kind of you know, 10 sucks like this and then having a gap, they're going to be getting far more milk than if a baby's only having, you know, two or three with a gap. Okay, so what we can do in this situation, this baby starts sucking and then you can press the breast and it should encourage them to continue sucking for a little bit longer before they have a gap. And you let go, and then baby starts sucking again and you can press again and it continues that sucking burst for a little bit longer. So it just means it can be helpful to get a little bit of extra milk into your baby. Um, so that's basically what they're about. So as I said, they're really useful if your baby's either really sleepy when they're first born, um, over the first week or two, or if they're a little bit uncoordinated and, and just not doing very many sucks um, every time they feed. And so it can be really good if, if you're struggling at all with, with um, Babies putting on weight or um, you know maybe you're having to top up and you're trying to reduce your top ups um, it can be a really good way of just sort of making them take more milk actually at the breast um, so hopefully that will be helpful for you